Welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you guys how to change a battery on a BMW X3 E83. Model of this vehicle is a 2004. So first you're going to go here and you're going to flip up this little flap in the back and this is where the battery is located right here. Right now I got a die hard battery in and this is the battery that's recommended. We're going to replace that with another die hard battery. And this is an AMG battery. Okay, guys, so you want to pick these up too. So I know the packaging looks kind of crumply here. It's because I had it sitting for a minute. So this is battery terminal protectors. They're just oval protectors here. So you want to grab that. And then you also want to have a microfiber cloth. Not that you might need it. You want to grab it just in case. You want to grab one of these terminal cleaners. If you have any corrosion on your battery, you want to take this and clean your corrosion off. You can also open it up like this to clean your um, terminals itself off internally. Um, so you're gonna wanna pop that back on there just like that. And then I'm uh, gonna get the actual socket. And then we're gonna take this half inch screw right here out, just like so. We're gonna unscrew that. And this is just for the um, bracket that's holding this battery in place. It will loosen that up to where you can pull the battery out. So you wanna unscrew that first and then after that's unscrewed you want to go ahead and pull that up just like that lay that to the side and then you can go ahead and pick the bracket up just like this and then you're just going to lay that to the side as well guys next there is a ventilation tube for the battery i had put new tubing uh, you can get this tubing from lowe's and you can go ahead and connect that to the ventilation port to the battery there's one on each side but i only got it connected on one and what that will do is lead out to the outside of the vehicle so next you want to go ahead and take your ratchet here and you want to go ahead and take a 10 millimeter socket and you're going to go ahead and unscrew the terminals um you also you want to always unscrew the negative terminal first so you're going to unscrew the negative terminal and when you do this, your lights will cut out just like so. And you can also take a glove or matter of fact, you could take a microfiber cloth for extra protection here and just wrap that around and set that to the side. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and do the positive now. That one's on there tight. And you're going to go ahead and set that to the side. And you're going to go ahead and pull the battery up out of there. Take two hands and pull it up out. And that's the battery right there, guys. Now we got the new battery here. So like I said, this is a diehard AMG technology. These cars require acid lead batteries and stuff. So you want to kind of look for the AMG battery because um, this is what this car takes. So we're going to peel these battery protectors up out of here. Then we're going to lay that trash to the side. What you want to do is pre-grease these. Usually these come with grease, but these are already greased. So I won't have to, as you can see, that grease is on them. And what this will do is prevent corrosion from your terminals, which can cause problems. So you're going to go ahead and pop one on the positive. You're going to go ahead and pop one on the negative. After you done did that, guys, you're not going to put it in this way where it says die hard amg technology you're going to go ahead and turn the battery around and yes guys the battery is very heavy so just keep that in mind so this hose that i had made as you see it's pre-greased down here you want to keep that pre-greased for the battery but also this hose it's a ventilation port for the battery you can get these uh hose from uh, home depot or lowe's if you like and it runs straight out to the outside so we're going to go ahead and turn that around like it already is. We're going to kind of move these uh, out the way. And we're going to go lay that in there just like so. And then after you lay that in there, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take this ventilation port. And on the side here, the side of the battery, you're going to connect that ventilation port. Just like so. After you're done with that, you're going to take the positive terminal 
and you're going to connect that to the battery. The terminal is pre-greased already. You can pre-grease them yourself. Then you're going to take a 10 millimeter and you're going to go ahead and tighten that down to this battery, these terminals. So you're going to go ahead and do that just like so. And then after you do that, you're going to go ahead and take your bracket. This is the bracket that we took off previously. Um, before we put back on the negative terminal, we're going to go ahead and put this bracket back on. So the bracket goes on just like that. It just clips up under just like so. And you're going to go ahead and scoot that in place like that, guys. Once that's in place, you're going to go ahead and position it. And uh, you're going to take this uh, bolt and that holds the bracket in and you're going to go ahead and change it to a half a socket. And then you're going to go ahead and take that socket, put it down. Oh. But you also want to make sure this bracket's positioned as you're screwing it in. So make sure the bracket is positioned in place as you're screwing the battery in. You can scoot it with your hands down there, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten it down and hold it in position. I'm just a very precise person, so I like to get it exactly on point on how it came off here. You know that it's good to go. So your socket might get a little stuck, guys. So what you want to do is take that. Wiggle that socket up just like this. Okay, guys, now that we had got this uh, uh, socket up off of here, what you want to do now is take the 10 millimeter, go ahead and take this terminal. And actually, like I said, keep it wrapped in here, but I had to take that out to maneuver some stuff over here. So you want to take the terminal and you want to lightly, gently lay it down on here. You've seen that little spark? And make sure that's positioned correctly because it can kind of mess up some things if it's not position the way it needs to. You're going to have to hold this terminal as you screw it on here. So you're going to take this 10 millimeter socket and you're going to go ahead and screw that on there. You see how that's a little crooked guys? You always want to make sure this is straight. So you're going to loosen that back up enough to straighten it out just like so. Then you're going to keep it in position here and you're going to tighten it down just like that, really tight. And that's the finished product of that, guys. That's how you replace a battery on a BMW X3 E83. Um, always make sure you get an AMG battery for these cars because... They require that. The manufacturer requires you to put these batteries back in this vehicle. Yeah, guys. And also, um, I'm thinking personally that you don't have to do any adjustments as far as the OBD2 scanner goes if you put the right type of battery in it. Because I, I put the right type of battery in. I had no problems. Nothing come up. No codes about the battery needing to be reset. So I didn't reset that. But the best... The best scan tool you can get here is the Foxwell BMW scan tool. So this is the Foxwell. It works really well. It's an OBD2 scanner. It can set the adaptations and it works amazing. Just erase any codes that you might have or anything. I'll do a separate video on this one day, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how to clean your area up after you're done. So I want to take all this. Make sure everything's removed from right here. Everything looks good. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to shut this just like that, guys. And then you're done. Um, I hope you like, subscribe, comment, uh, sub family. I appreciate everything you do. God bless you.